welcome to InThisCornerTV.com. I'm Smitty. We're at Mandalay Bay where they just held the press conference for the February 19th showdown. Two of the best bantamweights on the planet, Nonito Denier and Fernando Montiel. Now, it's interesting, that date in this site. That is actually the date, and this is the site, of what was the first bout of that great trilogy, Marco Antonio Barrera and Eric Morales. This one could be just as good. We caught up with the fighters. First off, champ, Happy New Year. Happy New Year, man. All right, we've got a, a huge fight coming up with you and Montiel. Uh, we've talked about where you're at in the game today. I have you ranked as the fourth best fighter wow. in the world. Everybody has right. you up there pretty, <laughs> pretty high. What do you think this fight will do to uh, solidify your position as one of the best fighters in the world. I think this will solidify my position in 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 uh, being called an elite fighter. Uh, Montiel is a great fighter. Uh, he's a great champion. He's been there since long. I, you know, since I turned pro. You know, so he's been he's been at it, and, and uh, he's trying to stamp his legacy as as one of um, legendary fighter in in this division. And for me, it's it's just making my way out there. You know, and I think that this will solidify my my quote elite uh, part of the elite fighters do you feel that uh, this this fighter is the most complete fighter you will have faced I, I think he is I think so I think that he has power uh, he has pretty decent speed uh, he knows how to box as well so to all the guys that I've fought before I think that this is um, the most uh, um, complete fighter that I've ever faced so you guys have a lot in common in that you both have speed, you both have power, you both can fight on the inside, the outside. You're a guy who thinks inside there. What is your thinking at this point? The fight's a, a month away. What's your what's your strategy at this point? I'm actually creating a, a game plan. You know, um, I'm want to like, share it with me. I'm like a mad scientist right now, and I'm just putting it together. And um, you know, there's just I mean, it's it's it's. It's more of, of how he is as a fighter, you know. I, I gotta focus on not what I can do; it's what he can do, um, and and what kind of mistakes he makes, and that's what um, I will take advantage of and look into uh, the the videos to see what I can do to uh, take advantage of those mistakes that he makes. What does he do best inside the ring, in your opinion, from what you've seen? He has a tremendous hook, like I do. You know, I do have a tremendous hook. He has a tremendous hook, but one thing that that he is known really well for is that body shot and everybody hates body shots so that's one thing that um that i gotta look out for mostly you know and and uh and try to avoid and try to uh see what i can do to counter or see what i can do to uh to maneuver around it one of the advantages you're going to have a big advantage in my opinion is the the size and the, and the reach is that something you plan are we going to see a lot of the uh the and i want it to be the left jab i don't want you to switch in this fight you know what it might it might see I might see a different fight if I switch you know um, I think that if I switch he'll have all, all the, the guys that, that that defeated him are all left-handers so we may see it we, we okay or right, you're, you're letting me know a little bit about the uh, the strategy or, or the guys that, that he had troubles with not all but the guys that he had trouble with are, are, are lefties so you know you never know Okay, uh, I know you don't want to think beyond this fight because it's a it's a huge fight. But I expect this will be a, a big year for you. What are your goals for 2011 and beyond? Uh, first off, it starts with Montiel. I think that I can accomplish my ultimate goal in boxing, or one of my ultimate goals growing up anyway, which is to be undisputed. You know, he has two belts, and then I need one more after that. Do you feel that um, Nonito Denier is the best fighter? you will have faced. Lo consideras que es el mejor que te vas a enfrentar tu mejor rival. Sin duda alguna sí, este vamos a empezar el año con una gran pelea y bueno, con uno de mis grandes retos que enfrentaron y todo, sin duda alguna uno de los peleadores más completos que voy a enfrentar en mi carrera. I believe so. I think he's probably one of the most complete fighters I'm ever going to meet in my career and uh, you know, it's a great way to start the year. I love challenges and this is a big challenge for me. You guys have a lot in common in terms of not necessarily the style, but you're both fast, you're both quick, you both can punch. That uh, should uh, mean fireworks on February the 19th. No, no necesariamente el, el mismo estilo, pero sí los mismos atributos, ¿no? El poder, la rapidez, uh, todo lo que hacen en el ring, muy parecido. Sí, ojalá que se acoplen los estilos, o sea, el boxeo de estilos también, y para que se pueda agradar al público, 
y a todos los fans eso que se, se, se acoplen los estilos. Espero que se acoplen para dar y brindar una gran pelea y bueno, que no se haga una pelea enfadosa. ¿no? You know, it's, it's always a question. Boxing is a question of style. I think uh, we're not sure about this one because, you know, like you said, it's, it's a lot of the, we do a lot of the same things. So I'm, I'm hoping that our, our styles will complement each other and that it turn out into a great fight and the fans that will have a great time. One of the what would uh, be a uh, presumed advantage for him would be his height and his reach, but it doesn't necessarily always work out that way. Do you feel like you can take advantage of being the, the smaller guy in the ring against Donaire? Obviamente la estatura y el alcance de él puede ser un poco más que el tuyo, ¿no? Pero tú consideras que es una ventaja para ti o la mejor te te conviene para entrar adentro del. No, yo, yo soy, yo me considero un científico del boxeo. Este, puedo eh, descifrar también el estilo de Ronito Donner. He peleado con peleadores mucho más altos de 1.76, no sé cuánto es siendo en, 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 en pulgadas, pero este, eso es lo que menos me, me, me importa. No me, no me incomoda eso, al contrario, me, me motiva más para, para hacer un, para hacer una pelea con otra con otra este combinación de mi de mi de mi estilo. You know it's uh you, you would think that right your style you know he's bigger he's taller but you know I fight a lot bigger guys a lot taller guys that doesn't worry me I'm a, a smart guy you know I love to challenges I'm going to watch a lot of video I'm going to I'm going to figure a way for my style to be his style. One of the things you do great is you work the body. He's a he's a lean guy is that part of uh, your strategy body work. Mucho trabajo el cuerpo en esta pelea importante. Sí, sin duda alguna, pero yo creo que va a ser una de, la, de las cosas que más se va a cuidar él también de mi golpeo abajo. Pero bueno, eso mismo pasaba con Julio César Chávez, ¿no? Y la gente y él también dominaba sus, y terminaba sus peleas de la misma manera. Entonces, este, de cualquier manera va a ser muy importante golpear abajo. You know, it's no secret that that's what I like to do. I'm sure he'll be ready for it. He'll be covering himself for that. But you know, Julio César Chávez had that same thing. You know, he they figured he would stop him. They was coming. They never could figure it out. So I'm hoping that I can use that. You mentioned Chavez. How important is this fight for Montiel in terms of your legacy as one of the great Mexican fighters? Obviamente, cuando se mencionan los grandes, ya se puede mencionar tu nombre, que es importante un triunfo para ya llegar a esa cima. Claro que sí. Y este, bueno, estamos. Yo creo que si no estoy todavía ahí entre los más grandes de México, pero pues estoy a, a, a muy pocos pasos, ¿no? Si no es que a un paso de, de que ya mi nombre sea histórico en, 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 en mi país. Pero bueno, este, el número uno siempre va a seguir siendo Julio César Chávez. You know, we're all, uh, I'm in Mexico, I'm still one of the best known fighters, I'm a well-known fighter. But I know you need important fights, but uh, do I expect to be a Julio César Chávez? Never. He's always going to be number one. We, uh, as boxing fans, uh, want to thank you and Donaire for making and taking uh, this fight Uh, and finally, your prediction. Un pronóstico ellos les encanta la pelea. Que gracias por haberla tomado los dos el reto. Y qué piensas tú tu pronóstico? Sin duda alguna la pelea va a ser de de muy pocos rounds. Tal vez de unos si acaso unos ocho, no ver diez rounds a lo mucho. Pero esa pelea va a haber trae muchas emociones. Este va a haber cosas muy grandes mías. Este, espero no, no dejar de hacer Ronito tantas cosas, pero lo, lo más importante es que va a ser una pelea muy, muy de, de choque y bueno, hay que, hay que estar pendientes por no acabo de aparecer en cualquier momento. You know, I don't think it's, a, it's eight, ten rounds. Uh, you know, it's a knockout for the night and I, don't, I know it's going to be explosive as long as it's last. There's going to be some great fireworks. We're both going to go all out and I think you're going to see a great fight. All right, you tell him uh, best of luck, continued success and I actually have the same suit, probably in the same size. Dice que él tiene uno igualito a ese y acuerdo con la misma medida. <risa> no, muchas gracias y este, bueno, te lo, te, me lo puse porque, bueno, soy campeón, no va a ser mi noche y hay que estar elegante. <risa> you know, I have to look good. I'm the champion and I have to show everyone that I, how good I can look. Thank you. Thank you.